New tonight, there are Im ambitious plans for a mall makeover in Orlando. Yeah, but people around the Fashion Square Mall have all heard this before many times. Box 35's Matt Trezza looking into the new ideas this time. The city of Orlando is reviewing plans for a massive redevelopment of the Fashion Square Mall. But tell that to Sam Zaru, whose watch and jewelry store is one of the mall's longest standing tenants, and he'll say he's heard that before. Let's see, that's about the probably the 12th plan we've heard. But he's crossing his fingers that this time will be the one that gets it done. Hopefully it'll go through. You know, something needs to be done. We can't stay like this uh, waste of property and hopefully that this will pass. Local architecture firm Baker Barrio submitted this three-phase master plan to the city, complete with renderings of what the redevelopment could look like. When it's all done, there'll be 1,400 housing units, including apartments and townhomes, more than 100,000 square feet of new shops and retail space, and a 120-room hotel. That's good news to people like Austin Valley from the group Orlando Yimby, who's calling for more housing close to downtown. We're, we're glad to see that it's mixed use, so there's going to be housing and retail all in the same spot, but we don't think it's dense enough. We don't think there's enough housing there. Uh, we don't think that there's enough walkability there yet. Valley says given the need for housing, especially affordable housing near downtown, he'd like to see much more on the site. We're of mixed mind. I, it's better than it would be if it was a, a, an empty mall, but it's not nearly, not nearly good enough. If the plan gets approval, not all of the buildings will be coming down. The Macy's, the Dick's Sporting Goods, and some of the other outlying restaurants and buildings will stay standing. Up next, the plan will go before the full city commission on December 6th. On Colonial Drive in Orlando, Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News.